What's up everybody, it's Joe with JBlake Photo. I have wanted to do this video for a while now and I wasn't really sure how to start it. If you've seen some of my videos before or if you're subscribed to my channel, uh, thank you, welcome back. Uh, if not, um, my name is Joe, Joseph Blake Photography, that's me. And normally I'm doing videos about, uh, you know, photography and, and lenses and drones and gadgets, GoPros. I throw in the occasional mountain biking video. Um, but today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, if you're looking for just that kind of stuff and you're not interested in this subject, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Lots of fun stuff and I got my uh, Hero 8 Black back from GoPro RMA repair uh, after my little mountain biking mishap. I'll go ahead and link that video up above if you didn't see it. Beware, there's blood. Um, but uh, things, are, things are healing up nicely. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. But I've had some things that I've wanted to say for a while. My hope is that by getting some things off my chest, I can help somebody out there who was in the position that I was maybe about a year ago. The title is accurate. I have lost about 70 pounds and it's been about 10 months. Between December and March, I wasn't really weighing myself a lot. Uh, I was somewhere in the mid 290s, 290 pounds. I'm six foot one, so that put me in the obese range. As of right now, I'm in the high 220s, um, so just shy of, uh, of 70 pounds. And since my little mishap here, um, I haven't been riding my mountain bike as much, plus it's super cold. I haven't been going out and getting as much exercise uh, as I normally do. But there's three things that I attribute to my success uh, of losing this weight in the last 10 months and why, why I know this time I'm gonna be able to keep it off. So I've been making YouTube videos since uh, mid to late 2017, so it's been two years. Uh, and if you were seeing or if you saw some of my original videos or some of the videos that I've made along the way, uh, I was normally very heavy in those videos. And it wasn't until just recently that I started losing the weight. One of the things that helped me kind of start this process was I bought a bike. Uh, I bought a single speed mountain bike, uh, which is a crazy idea. I, I was riding quite a bit and having a ton of fun. Uh, it really got me outdoors. It got me enjoying activity, got me enjoying exercise in a way that I hadn't in a really long time. And I had ridden bikes when I was a kid and, uh, and really enjoying biking and being outdoors. So that sport, being active, being outside, uh, really added a lot to my experience this year in terms of losing weight. So as I got more and more active, uh, I was losing more and more weight. The weight loss cannot be 100% attributed to uh, mountain biking. Honestly, just saying eating better and exercise doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really excite people because they're looking for something a little bit you know, more profound. So diet is kind of an interesting thing for me. And so I was in pretty decent shape when I was in my teens, uh, like 12, 13, 14. I then went in high school and played football and was in really good shape. Did a lot of running, endurance and weight training and that sort of stuff. Um, so when I stopped playing football in high school, because I didn't do it all four years, I started gaining weight. But like I said, you know, you're a teenager, you got metabolism like crazy, but I was still pretty much eating, you know, whatever I wanted. Potato chips and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and soda, tons of soda. Uh, and then I hit 18, 19, and I ended up gaining a ton of weight. Um, I had a sedentary job. I started playing a lot of video games and wasn't active, wasn't watching my weight, and I didn't have that teenager metabolism anymore because I just kept eating and eating and eating. So now this year, uh, I have made a concerted effort to change the way that I eat. And that required me to really change the way that I think about food. If you had asked me a couple of years ago, you know, what is a perfect lunch? I would have said, well, a sandwich, chips, a cookie, and a soda. Because when I was a kid, that's what we ate. Um, that was what was in the lunchbox. That's, and Capri Sun, you know, where you're, you're poking the hole in with the, poking it in with the straw, you know? I mean, that's what you ate. Uh, if you grew up uh, like I did, middle class, you know, American home, you eat a lot of sweets and you eat a lot of fat, you eat a lot of junk food, a lot of packaged food, processed food. And so I have had to completely disconnect what I think about what a meal is, 
or what a side is or food or what I should be eating or shouldn't be eating. And I've gone through a lot of different variations of food. Uh, I've started with kind of substitutions by getting a lot of foods that are still very processed, but they're maybe lower calorie because they're smaller or they're, um, you know, they don't have real sugar. They have, you know, like a substitute sweetener in them. And honestly, especially to get you started, that's not the worst thing, especially if you're used to eating those foods. That's actually a pretty good place to start. Uh, is to start substituting the foods that you normally eat with ones that are lower calorie versions, right? Swap out the uh, hamburger with the turkey burger. That's the first step um, to making things, these things better. But again, you have to undo where you are psychologically because in my brain, I can, I can think about men who I grew up around who would consider a, a, a turkey burger to be less manly. Um, you've got to eat the big, the beef. It's got to be beefy, right? A uh, turkey um, hot dog uh, is, you know, what is that? You know, frou-frou food, right? Psychologically disconnecting yourself from what you've been trained, either by the people around you and how they've been trained, or by, you know, commercials and, you know, boxes and, and Saturday morning cartoons and all the things that we were kind of programmed to think, especially if you grew up in the 80s like I did. I mean, I, I do eat and, and I enjoy eating, um, but that brings me to kind of my third point, which is, you know, activity, nutrition or dieting. And, and three is mental health. So when I was a kid, I was diagnosed with ADHD. So they put me on Ritalin. Um, and from what I understand, from what my parents tell me, it, it, it worked, it, it helped. And then through a series of events that I'm not really, I'm not really sure all of the details on because I, I, you know, I was a kid. Um, there was a point at somewhere where I wasn't taking it anymore. And the thing that I've come to understand about ADD and specifically about my, um, the way that ADD affects me is that I'm always looking for that next thing. I'm always looking for that next, um, that next hit of, of dopamine uh, in the brain. And where I would in many cases go for that, that pleasure would be food. And so as a teenager, and then in my 20s, and then into my 30s, I was eating uh, for, for pleasure. Um, I was eating to, to normalize, to regulate. Uh, I went to my doctor um, and, uh, and talked to him about it. And surprise, surprise, uh, I also needed to be treated for uh, high blood pressure because I had headaches and nosebleeds. And he determined that I had very high cholesterol and so put me on two blood pressure medications, a cholesterol medication, and then a medication for um, ADHD, uh, a non-stimulant version because of the fact that I have the blood pressure issue. Within about two or three weeks, I noticed right away that my cravings were diminished, um, my need to feed uh, was diminished. That part of my brain that was always kind of reaching out for that next uh, you know, bit of pleasure to try and bring things up to normal um, because I'm normally down here uh, and kind of bring it up to normal was, was gone. Uh, and, and I was at normal, at least what I, what I feel, what I think is normal. Uh, and since then, I have been able to control my habits. Um, don't get me wrong, I still have, I still have issues. <laughs> Um, I still get intense, I still zone into things and can become kind of overly, overly fixated on something and I just don't want to be disturbed. I think some of that is the ADHD, some of it might just be a part of my personality, but a lot of that has subsided. And so, or at least been mellowed out a little bit and I'm able to concentrate better. Uh, I'm able to do things that normally would just be impossible for me. My constant pursuit of something kind of new and shiny um, has been diminished. It's not. It's not gone. It's been diminished. Uh, I. Uh, I still. I still love and enjoy photography, and I've added now mountain biking um, and you know outdoor activity to my life, which is which is huge. And one of the main reasons that I wanted to make this change is that is that you know earlier this year around that same time, uh, my wife and I were going through in vitro fertilization. Um, and so we went through uh, one round of IVF, uh, which was not successful. And we are currently planning our second round. We, we've already gone through our second round of retrieval. 
uh, and are planning for our next transfer. I really wanted to get my health under control. And so now, just had a blood test recently and my blood pressure is under control. Uh, my cholesterol is super low uh, and uh, all, of my, all of my levels are good and I feel really, really good. And I do plan to continue uh, losing weight, but uh, to maybe add a little bit of strength and to you know, kind of tone out because I've definitely gotten kind of flabby uh, when you lose a lot of weight uh, like that, like I did. But it's possible, it's doable, it's achievable, um, but I didn't do it out of nowhere. Uh, I had to make small changes initially, both to my diet. I had to add exercise uh, to a space in my life where there was no exercise. But I also needed to address my, my mental state, my mental health. Um, and, you know, I, I grow up, I come from a family with um, a considerable amount of bipolar disorder, manic depressiveness. I've been very lucky that I don't have uh, those conditions um, because I know that what I've gone through is considerably easier, at least it was for me, than people who I know and love who have experienced anxiety, depression, manic bipolar episodes, and have, in some cases in my family, died uh, as a result of their addictions. So my hope with this video is that if you are struggling, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. There's nothing wrong with going to the doctor. There's nothing wrong with getting put on meds. There's nothing wrong with doing what you need to do to get yourself healthy, to get yourself better. Whatever healthy looks like for you. If you're happy and you love yourself, you love how you look and you love how you are, then you, you keep doing you and, and you know spread that sunshine. But around the holidays, and especially when we hit the new year, it can be hard for people thinking, okay, yeah, I've got this, I've got this plan, I've got this road that I wanna travel, but can I, can I make it? Will I ever make it? And I'm here to tell you that you can, you absolutely can. And I'm not gonna say that you just have to get up and do it, because the people who say that, that that's, that's crap. It's hard to just get up and do it. I had to go to my doctor. I had to buy a mountain bike. I had to start eating slightly different foods. But you don't have to give up everything you love. I had chocolate covered macadamia nuts before I even started recording this video. They were delicious. Um, but it's the little stuff, you know? I drink seltzer water instead of soda now. Um, but making those changes, small steps. But it's possible, it's doable, and if I did it, you can too. So anyway, I appreciate anyone who's made it to this point in the video. Um, I won't ask you to hit like and subscribe because none of my videos are like this. But if you're into cameras, GoPros, drones, uh, go ahead and hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.